And welcome back to the long run where we are playing the longest journey. Last time we um we threw a troll into the fire and saved the mole people, and so they showed us they showed us the way to their village. That's where we are going. April Hello. I'm so glad you could come to our village and sit by our fire so we can thank you in the proper manner. It's my privilege, Ben Bandu. I wouldn't want to pass through this forest without visiting your village and seeing for myself how the Banda people live. Oh my, you speak so eloquently. My brother sits by the fire. I know he wishes to speak with you. But the elder would speak with you first. He rests in his hammock up on the mound. Go speak with him, and then come down again so we can celebrate the death of the Gribbler and the brave escape of April Ryan and Ben Bondu's brother. Can do. By the way, I don't suppose you, you'd like to join my group. Uh, we, we have a crow, but we still have o an opening as Tom Servo. It's a hammock built for a Bondu. It's the elder Bondu. The hero of the day comes to visit the old Bandu. Let me see your face, human. Make yourself shorter. I mean, I can't really do that, but I can crouch down. That's much better. The human is closer to the soil now, and she may even feel it like we do. Moving, shaping itself, breathing, beating. I don't feel anything. Sorry. As long as it doesn't start so screaming. the human is not a digger. But we don't judge her because of that. The human is a hero, she is. Don't call me that. I'm not a hero. I was just in the right place at the right time to help somebody out. She destroyed the evil that haunted our forest. And rescued one of our little ones from the creatures of chaos. And so she is a hero. She's the one spoken of in our songs, is she not? The one who will deliver us from an evil presence and who will go on to save the balance. You are she, are you not? I don't know. Well, we will see, we will see. You will sleep in our spirit dig tonight, and then tomorrow we will see. But now, you must enjoy yourself. This feast is in your honor to show our appreciation for your courage. Thank you. Go, eat and drink and dance, and then go to sleep in the spirit dig. We will talk tomorrow before you continue your journey. You are on a journey, are you not? A very long one, yeah. One we might say the longest journey. journey. But yours is the most important one ever. So go. I will smoke my pipe and think on prophecies and songs. Go. Uh, hang on, let me. I'm gonna have to close the window. Oh boy, Zero. I wish I could. I wish I could. Any dang way. Oh dear, it's April. Sit, sit down. Are you feeling all right? I thought you disappeared on me back at the Gribbler's lair. Oh dear, I do apologize. I saw the Gribbler return from the forest, so I ran into the bushes and headed straight for the village. Why are you not I was going to get help, you understand, but then I bumped into my brother, and I told him what was happening. 
Well, I'm glad you're okay. Thanks to you, April. How did you kill the Gribbler? Lots of luck, and a little bit of quick thinking. My limited talents in the martial arts were woefully underused. Were you frightened? I don't think I've ever been so frightened in my entire life. Kind of exhilarating, actually. Although at this point, I think I've had quite enough excitement for a lifetime. Oh, dear me. I could never be as brave as you, April. Ever. What is the spirit dig the Elder told me about? Oh, it's a sacred place. A very sacred place. It's where we, the Banda, can speak with our ancestors, ask them questions, and learn from their wisdom. Yeah, well, the Elder said I was to sleep there tonight. He did? The Elder said that? Then you have been honored by him, April. Only those worthy of the spirits of our ancestors can spend the night in the spirit dig. Where is the spirit dig? Right behind you, at the far end of our green. Enjoy the party, guys. Oh, but it's in your honor, April. You must enjoy it yourself, too. So why were you facing off to the left direction? Oh dear, it's April. Sit, sit down. There we go. Now we're facing in the right Hi direction. guys, are you enjoying the feast? Oh, very much, very much. So basically it's exactly the same conversation except the other guy. Enjoy the party, guys. Oh, but it's in your honor. Yes, yes. Alright, Crow, what you got? Crow? Oh, hey, uh, I was, uh, wondering what happened to you. What happened to you? I thought you were supposed to help out in the search. I could have used some assistance this afternoon. Uh, yeah, but I did find some mal... some banda, didn't I? Just not the one we were looking for is all. And besides, I was beat! My wings can only carry me so far before I need a twig to rest on and a couple of juicy berries. Speaking of berries, did you taste the ones they got here? The word is yum. Big yum. I don't know what they soaked them in, but hoo-hoo, ma'am! Well, at least you're okay. No, oh, sure. You know me. I could use a good flea plucking, though. Care to reward me for my diligence? Diligence? Ha! <sighs> I'm guessing I'll be plucking my own fleas tonight, then, and, and I'm okay with that. I'm blaming you if I wake up with a crick in the neck tomorrow, though. Glowing. They got a nice bonfire going. It's a hammock built for a bondu. I won't be able to find my way through the forest when it's this dark. Mushrooms or chairs or both? There are tunnels extending down into the earth behind the screen. It's not a big fire, but it's comfortably warm in here, and the smoke has a very pleasant, very mellow texture to it. It's some kind of bed, 
made with twigs and moss. Not as comfortable as a real mattress, I'm sure, but it'll do. I'll just have a look around before I go to bed. I'll just lie down for a few. No, screw that. I'm getting a good night's sleep. That's what I'm doing. I've never been this tired in my life. One more could be a world record. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello. Oh. Well, what? What are you doing here, you arrogant bitch? You don't think you can really save the world, do you? Who are you? I don't tell, tell me you don't recognize me, April Ryan. I'm you. That's impossible. This is just another dream. I must be dreaming. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was already loser. here. This is as real as it gets. Why are you here? I'm sending you home, that's what. You're a sad little twit. Don't you realize that? There's no point subjecting the entire world, two worlds, to your feeble attempts at redeeming yourself, is there? Go away! Leave me alone! How the hell am I supposed to do that, Einstein? I am you. You are me. Unfortunately for the both of us, we're inseparable. I don't need this Freudian id crap. Not now. There's so much I have to do, so many people I have to help. Oh yeah? Like you really believe that? Like you give a shit about those people? You're doing this for yourself, April, and that's why you're gonna fail. Shut up! Shut up! That's always your way out, isn't it? Telling people to shut up when they speak the truth and shutting them out when they're getting too close for comfort. Hey, don't tell me. I do it because Daddy hurt me. Screw that. How do you think you're gonna hold up when this job gets tough if you can't rely on anybody or believe in anything? I'm doing it, aren't I? Yeah, because what kind of choice did you have? Face your problems back home? Face the nightmares? I don't think so. So you run. And you think you're putting distance between yourself and your fear of the past and the present? All you're doing is running straight into an inevitable nervous breakdown. Like right now. You're talking to yourself, April. Now that's not something a mentally stable person would do, is it? Shut up! Shut up! Shh. It's okay, April. It's okay. Charlie? Charlie, is that you? Shh. Don't you worry. I'm here. I'll take good care of you. Oh, God, Charlie, I'm so glad that... that you're... you're... You're not here. You can't be. I'm still dreaming. No, no, you're not dreaming. I'm here, but in spirit only. Is it? Is it really you, Charlie? We are Charlie, your friend. We feel his heart and his mind, and his sleeping spirit joins us. But we speak from the great digs of the beyond, where the songs of the Banda never end. Are the dead? We have passed into the soil. We are spirits, and we have come to guide you. Why Charlie? Why do you show me Charlie? He loves you. And so he guides us here, into your heart and mind. He loves me? Charlie loves me? You are not alone in the world, April. There are many who care for you. Your friends and your family. Your real family. You are not alone in your journey through life. 
What do you know about my family? My real family? They watch out for you, April. That's all we know. They have never abandoned you. They have just let you live the life you needed to live, to understand. It's important that you understand. Understand what? That life, even when difficult and painful, is a gift. That love is priceless and rare and precious. That every good action, every good thought counts. And that a single person can make a difference, can change the world. If she puts her mind to it, if she believes in herself, and the people who believe in her. But everything is so frightening. I don't understand half of what goes on around me. Did not the mother say she would help you? Watch out for you? Did not Charlie and Emma, your friends, offer to give you a helping hand when you didn't even tell them the truth about what was going on? And Cortez the Red, did he not prove himself a friend as well? The Red... How then can you be so afraid when you have so many spirits to be with you in your darkest hour? Cortez the Red? Please, tell me what I have to do. I'm just fumbling in the dark here. And yeah, no kidding. I keep have to, having to ask for help from my friends. And use your mind. These are your weapons. And with them, you will defeat chaos. When you wake, tell the Elder that you've had a Bach bar. That you've spoken with the band of spirits, and that your name amongst our people is now April Bandu and Bata, April Digger who will seek and find. Oh, don't go! Please don't go. And she passes right the hell out again. Chicago. Oh good, we're we're breaching into Tolkien now. I'm not gonna make any sort of observation about the weird dream that you have that seems like a very adventure game thing to do. Psychedelic furniture. I know some people at home would go crazy about stuff like that. Not the most comfortable bed I've slept in, but acceptable. There are tunnels extending down into the earth behind the screen. I wonder if through this grid you can see Gridania. Probably not. I don't think we're on that world. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, she's awake. April! Good morning, Ben Bondu. Greetings of the new day to you, April. Did you sleep well in the spirit dig? Did I sleep well? Aside from the voices, the apparitions, the sharp rocks poking me in the back, and the moist moss mattress? No, not really. So you were visited by the spirits? I guess. When you told me last night that I would be, I didn't believe you. I thought it was just a manner of speaking, like saying, don't let the bed bugs bite. Our ancestors are close to us at all times. Once in a while, they speak to those who have been chosen to spend a night in the spirit dig. That they spoke to you is a great honor. April, a great honor. Right now, I'd be happy to exchange all the honor in the world for one Decent night's sleep. <laughs> oh dear me. You are very funny, April. If all humans are as funny as you, your cities must be filled with laughter. The oh, Elder wishes really. to speak with you again. And I must sing now, down in the tunnels. It was decided this morning that I was finally ready to join the diggers. I'm happy for you, Ben Bondu. Thank you. May the balance provide you on your journey, April. You will be in my heart, always. And you will be in mine, Ben Bondu, always. Y you will come back when your journey is over. I'll try. Goodbye. Oh, my. I cannot stand farewells. But 
Farewell. And then he immediately stops standing and rolls up into a ball or something. Also, someone who has uh, who has literally experienced bed bugs, I would really not recommend it. Ashes. Do 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 do. Oh wait, you said ashes, not ashens. It's the elder Bondu. So, you are awake? Did you sleep well? As well as can be expected, I guess. Does the word Buckbar mean anything to you? Buckbar? Where did you hear this word? The spirits told me that I'd had a Buckbar. So, the spirit spoke to you openly? You are lucky, human. Some who enter the spirit dig never come out again. And some spend the night but hear nothing. But to you, the spirits spoke. A bakbar is a vision of yourself that speaks the truth in two ways. One is the dark truth. This is how you see yourself when you are not sure of yourself or angry with yourself. The other truth is the very opposite of the first. This is how you must see yourself to be happy. But the spirits remind us that both are important. That you cannot love yourself without first seeing your flaws. The people I saw, were they really there? The spirits use masks to convey their messages. And they speak in voices from the past or the present that carry great weight with you. The messengers are never the same, nor the message. But you must take care to hear and heed their words. I was told that my name among the Banda would be April Bandu Mbata. She among the little ones who seeks and finds. So, you are the one we sing of. The human who would come to aid us and to save our world, and who will then tear it apart. You bring tidings both happy and sad to the Banda, April Bandu and Bata, both hope and despair. This world will never be the same again once you have passed through it. But we are grateful, and I'm proud to have met you and to give you what you came for. It was just luck that brought me here. I didn't come for anything in specific. Yes, you did. This is what you came for. What is it? This is the stone given to us by the fathers to keep safe until this day. It has been with us for so long. Oh, it's a piece of the disc! Then you know it. You came for the stone, even though you didn't know it until now? I guess I did. Thanks. Now you must continue your journey, April Bandu and Bata. Remember that this is your tribe now, and so you are welcome at our fires and in our digs whenever you come this way again. I'm honored. Thank you. May there always be soil between your toes, April Bandu and Bata. That doesn't and sound particularly yours, uh, goodbye. Particularly com comfortable. All right, Crow, wake up. Wake yeah, up. Huh? Turn off the big light, mommy. Yes, I'll get to turning off the sun. Welcome to the world of the living. Oh. <sighs> I was having this weird dream about a big-ass turkey wearing a pair of red shoes. And you were there. And, and he was there. And, and, and maybe it wasn't a dream after all. I think it's safe to say that you need therapy. And we need to leave right now. We do? We do! Let's go get him! <clears throat> uh... Who are we getting again? 
Some evil alchemist out to rule the world with his powerful and destructive magic. Yes! Exactly! Uh... I'll keep an eye out for other potential threats then, shall I? Like, uh, marauding mice? You do that, Crow. Thank you. Good talk. Um... Yeah, I guess let's, uh... Let's away then. Welcome to the swamp. Swamp water. There are things moving down there. Big things. Mosquitoes everywhere. I hope one of those clouds doesn't get a whiff of me in charge. The last thing I need now is malaria. Yes, because as we all know, every mosquito in the world carries malaria. There's an ordeal I prefer not to go through again. Did I drop something? It feels like I dropped something. Whatever it was, one of those things probably ate it. I don't know what I would have dropped. Okay, now I feel like I need to figure this out. Uh, what's the button for low? There we go. Now I think this is all of the stuff that uh, that I just had. Oh wait, no. Hang on. Okay, let me take a screenshot of this. Because we had 15 objects then, and we had 15 objects after, but we also got the piece of the disc, and we lost the... We lost the delivery list. I guess we don't need to worry about it? Question mark? They look like dark purple tulips with a satin texture. Pretty, but a little too gothic for my taste. It's like, where's the funeral? This? No, this is the map we're supposed to deliver. The delivery list was over here. They feel very soft to the touch and soothing like skin moisturizer. I'll bring a few in case my hands get dry. Never hurts to be prepared for a dry skin emergency. And not really thinking of like any side effects that this flower could have. But then again, we are a uh, an adventure game protagonist. Grab everything that's not, you know, bolted down. And sometimes you have to grab the things that are bolted down. Like how how do you get ye flask, for instance? That must be Roper Clax's castle. The whole gravity defying bit kind of gives it away. Also, this sure is the music that's playing. Nice stonework, but not particularly realistic. Strange texture. My fingers feel tingly. Oh my god! What are you? I don't understand what you're saying. Can you try to open your mouth a bit? Impossible? Okay. 
Okay, there's gotta be some way to help you talk. By the way, can you help me get up there? Into the castle? I don't know any magic, sorry. But I'll try to find a way to soften you up. Thank you. Well, I have one idea. That doesn't work. The stone surface is too coarse and the petals aren't moist enough by themselves. I think I need to mix them with something to make it easier to apply. Hmm. It's a piece of the stone disc I got from the Banda people. Those berries look ripe and juicy, but my mom taught me never to judge a book by its cover. They're probably poisonous and almost certainly fattening. Those berries look ripe and juicy. Nuh-uh, that marshy ground between me and the berries looks treacherous. I'll probably get stuck and drown. Ah, oh, where is your sense of uh -oh, adventure? Uh-oh, I'm sinking! Now that was a bit scary. I could have lost my shoes! And I guess my life. Yeah, your shoes are, are definitely the bigger problem between those two. And yeah, at this point, I can just keep clicking on here and making April do the spinny. <laughs> Oh, what if I get Crow to do this for me? Arr, it's chilly out here. You should really be wearing a sweater, doll. You don't want to catch a cold, not with the fate of the known cosmos on your shoulders. I'm fine, thanks, Crow. What's going on with you? Keeping my eyes open, you know, floating on the warm winds, doing that whole Hawkeye shtick. I'm getting pretty good at it, too. I spotted you from at least 100 yards away. Oh, boy. Impressive. Yep. They don't call me the Lord of the Winds for nothing. Do they really call you that? No, but soon, by the balance, they will. Now, what uh -huh. can I do for you, sweetheart? Crow, I need you to fly over there and get some of those berries for me. And Crow? Yes, ma'am. Don't eat Don't them. Don't eat the berries. No, ma'am. Thanks, Crow. You got it. I'm gonna go back up there and work on my eyesight. I ain't stopping until I can spot those cute chicks from miles and miles away. I mean, I'm sure all you gotta do is, uh, is just say, Hey, Becky, let me smash. Well, that made a that made a glob. Presumably, I can use this glob on this man. There, you feel better. Soft, soft, softer, yes. Unfortunately, I don't think the salve will be effective for very long. I'm April, by the way. Lorhan, I'm a sailor, and you've got to help me get out of here. I don't think I can stand it much longer. 
What happened to you? Oh, that blasted, blasted alchemist cast a spell on me, turned me to solid rock. Then he put me here to be gatekeeper and anchor for his blasted castle. That was near six full moons past now. You've been here for half a year? Curse the balance. When you say it like that, it is an age. My wife is sure to have taken someone else's bed by now. Blasted magic. The vanguard were right. What do you mean the vanguard were right? That we've been at the mercy of the balance for too long. It's time to make some changes. Put the control back into the hands of the people. How would that have helped you? Well, for one, there wouldn't be any rogue magicians like this Roper Clax running about causing trouble. Do you not agree? I'm not about to argue politics with you right now, Lorhan. I'm in a hurry. Who's arguing? And blasted be my rocky hide. Get me out of here. How can I help you? It ain't just me, April. There are dozens of men up there. Servants and sailors and merchants and soldiers. All sent here by their masters to deal with Roper Clax. Ha! Curse it be the balance. We've all been turned to stone, and our souls trapped in a crystal that the madman keeps in his tower. He draws power from that, power that shouldn't be his by right. But this blasted problem of the balance has upset the natural order of things. If the vanguard were in control, this would never have happened. Things would be like they used to be a long time ago. Everything was good then? Oh, sure, there were problems, but this rift, it ain't natural. Science and magic belong together in the hands of the people. Not to some naked guardian fellow on a tower somewhere far away. Listen, we've got more important things to think about, like how I'm going to get inside the mountain, beat this clack sky, and free your soul. Yeah, 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 you're right. And I can feel my muscles turning to stone again. We must hurry. How do I get inside the mountain? I'll pull the stairs down for you. Usually when Clax comes and goes, he softens me up for a bit, just so I can raise and lower the stairs for him, and then he changes me back to solid rock again. Once you're inside, and if you manage to defeat the madman, I don't see how you're gonna do that, a young woman like yourself. Hey, hey, hey. I'm pretty resourceful, and I'm not your run-of-the-mill teeny bopper either. You're what? That's, that's Anyways, a word I haven't heard in a while. if you defeat Clax, you must find his study and break the crystal, the soul stone. That should break the spell and give us back our flesh and bone bodies. Sounds like a plan. All right, here goes. Watch your head, April. That's not precarious at all. Can I... I can no longer interact with you. All right. Labyrinth, great. I so love these things. Jump! Jump into the abyss! Who is that? Wait, don't tell me, evil wizard. They all sound like Richard III on crack. He's got his hand out like he's begging. Much like this hand. Here, you can do the monkey. My calculator. Okay, you want to get paid. I gotcha. His hands on fire. His hands on fire. Oh. Hmm. That gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. Like sands through the hourglass, so is whatever this game. Huh. I feel like that went by real fast. Hmm. 
Throw candy at the thing. Yeah, I guess that uh, I there are some things here that I might never need, and there are other things that I'm going to need a lot later in the game, but I would not have been required to pick them up yet. Also, there's the diary, which I, as far as I can tell, just opens up the diary in here. Maybe I can calculate the amount of time that I have to perform actions now. Whoa, I'm not afraid of heights, but this, this is kind of scary. Something tells me that door down there is important, but how am I going to get to it? Jump! Jump into the abyss! Oh, quiet you. Didn't want to exit Can't. the building. The door's been blocked. Lorhan must have turned back into solid rock. Oh. <laughs> this Clax guy is kind of a gremlin, isn't he? Okay. It'll just click on it furiously and you'll get there. It's a mirror door. I look different in that mirror. Darker, scowling, scarred. It must be the light. It's a mirror door. If I break it, do I end up like out in space? It's a stone door. God, this is just a painting of a staircase. Not fair. Now I understand how Wily e. Coyote felt. Damn bird. I like how... I assume that's Clax. I like how he was talking while I was talking. And we can't reach that door yet. Who's knocking? Hello. So what does this hourglass do? Okay. Hopefully this is just going to be the same thing where I, uh, you shut up. I turn the hourglass and then immediately start clicking like a madman. Yep. <laughs> Balance be cast. I look like a serving maid. Hey, was I supposed to have walked like? Basically not on the floor. Actually, that's an actual question. I don't appear to be able to move. I think I might have glitched it. Which is a thing to be expected in, um, in Scum VM, apparently. Okay, well.
Hmm. If I save and just load immediately. Nope, I'm still stuck here. I assume that I'm not supposed to be stuck here. I look like a serving maid. Yes, you look like a serving maid who is uh, ignoring gravity at the moment. Okay, let's uh, let's go back then. I guess at least we know what to do. I look like a serving yeah, maid. Up. I'm trying to make you go faster. They feel very soft to the touch and soothing like skin moisture. I'll bring a few. That must be Roper. Those berries look ripe and juicy. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. What? I have to specifically -uh, attempt to get it. Okay, there we go. I'm keeping him from Do they No now? Crow, I need Yeah, no. Thanks, Crow. You got all right, later, nerd. Oh, I guess I have to actually, like, talk to you before I can use this. Strange. What? There. Lord. What do you mean? How I'm who's how getting hurt of this every list? How, how point I'm you are? Elaborate. Okay. Now that we're back here, let's save right here. He's got his hand out like he's begging. We gotta pay this man. <laughs> his hand's on fire. Let's try interacting with that one first. I don't know if it'll make any difference. I've tried a I'll whole lot with this mirror before. I don't know if I need to, but... Who's knocking? Tap. Let's try this again. Balance be cast. It's 
Yeah, there we go. I don't know what happened last time, but uh, it didn't happen this time. That's one stony face. That's one stony face. Okay, now what? Want a candy? I hear my tunes. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. I don't have any more of that goo. Prepare to get mathed at. Now. You want money too? No. Look at this photograph. Surely this does something. Um, I say the monstrosity. Do you know the times? No. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Um. I don't know. I, I feel like I've tried pretty much anything that would conceivably be useful. Was I supposed to not come here? Have I have I actually screwed myself by saving over this slot? Because this doesn't seem like the kind of game that would do that. Gold ring? No. See, I can't see the gold ring being required because I could have just forgotten it back in that machine. So I don't think it would be required at a time where I can't get it again. And same goes for pretty much anything here. You accept cash card? No. Okay, what do I gotta do? Will it let me go back? Ready to give up. Oh. How the heck did I end up here? He didn't walk. From an eternity encased in stone. Magic again. Nah, nah, nah. You lose, you die. I haven't lost yet. Pepper. Okay. That appears to be everything that I can do here. Suppose I can probably use that pepper on this gargoyle. Being careful not to go through the door while running, because I think that's what screwed me last time. Walk through the door. Balance be uh. Yeah, because like, 
the first time that I came through the door, I was running, and so she just kind of ran out of bounds. Time for sneezies. <laughs> Say whatever you want about Roper Clax, he certainly knows how to keep a big fire. Oh, wait, are those human bones down there? I wouldn't doubt it. Evil alchemist or not, at least he's made some effort to make the place look good. Big, certainly, but I can't see anything through it. It's like there's a thick fog outside obscuring everything. Get ready to use that karate. Hiya. Haikiba. Finally. <laughs> I was beginning to think you would never make it through my labyrinth. Welcome to my humble home. Do you like it? I had it built according to my own specifications by the most skilled architects of Arcadia. They have since become a permanent and quite attractive fixture of their own building, of course. Oh, but I forget my manners. I am, as I am sure you already know, Roper Clax. And you would be? Um, you know what? I'll leave this one to chat. One, two, or three. Zero says three. Anyone anyone else want to vote? And with curveball. <laughs> J pop appears to not be uh not be following the thread here. So do we do we make demands? Do we uh be a badass or do we just try to be nice? J Pop says one, I have not seen anyone else in chat for quite some time. So I get to cast a deciding vote. And I will say let's go with Zero's idea. April Ryan, pleased to meet you, sir. Oh, but the kitten has manners. How precious. How very precious. I am tempted to not turn you into stone. You would make a spirited wife and mother to my demonic children. But no. It will be more fun to destroy you. You won't subscribe today, oh no. Undo, undo. Where's the undo button? U-N-D-O. Oh, I guess it doesn't work. Why did you trap the wind? Why does the wolf eat the sheep? I don't think you answered my question. Because I can, little girl, because I can. And because of who I am, because I am hungry, and because the time is right. Yeah, but I don't think you're I think you did it because wind. you're insecure and you have to show off your petty magic to the world. Shut your pretty little mouth. I will devour you. I will... <clears throat> but we must not lose our self-control. <laughs> <laughs> 
must we? No, we must not. Why did you turn those people into stone? Questions, questions, questions! I do not need to explain myself to you, little bastard child! Do you know who your parents are? No, of course not! Too stupid! What? What do you know about my parents? Suffer the little children. Oh, how I love that phrase. It is my life's philosophy. I like suffering, especially the suffering of innocent children. Their screams are so pretty, their tears so salty. So how about I chuck you into the You're abyss? You're a real shit, Clax. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> and I'm sure as well. Prepare to be defeated. Prepare to be defeated. Pa! Clichés! Is that the best you can do? Watch me. Yes. And you plan to do what? Witness the men who came before you with their weapons and their magic. Look what happened to them. Turn to stone. Each and every one of them for all eternity. I even own their souls now. And they will feed me and keep me strong for as long as I need them. How original. Been reading a lot of fairy tales lately, have we? Oh, how precious. <laughs> um. See? I could scour your flesh off your bones in a second, little girl. Now, do you think you could defeat me? Yeah, well, I can pull a rabbit out of a hat. I can pull a hat out of a rabbit. What's your point? <laughs> Whoa, I've okay. never seen that before. I like that response. It is not a pretty sight, and I love it. How about a proper challenge? A proper... <clears throat> what, what do you mean by a proper challenge? I can't defeat you with magic. I'm not a wizard. Wizards? Frauds! The lot of them! The only real magic is the magic of alchemy. But of course, you cannot defeat me with magic. That is why I will win. What's so great about beating me with magic? That's not a challenge. That's a walkover. If we even the odds out a bit, you'll have more fun and satisfaction from turning me into stone later. You are trying to trick me. I know that. But you intrigue me, little girl. Go on, then. Issue a challenge worthy of my powers. Okay. What about, let's see who can do the monkey better. No, no, you stay down there, little girl, or you will burn. Yeah, I wasn't trying to get up there. I guess he's not around. Aha. Heads or tails? You know what? I may not be a magician, but I am a math magician. I challenge you to a contest really? of simple arithmetic using only this petty little device against your supreme intellectual powers. Give me your best shot, but after this, I will take your soul and trap you in stone for all eternity. Sounds good to me. Okay, here's one. 49 times 11. 49 times 11 what? Numbers. Okay, think of apples and oranges. 49 apples times 11 oranges. What? 49 times 11. 
let's see. Carry the one over, divide by three. What to do with that file? By the way, the answer is... <clears throat> no, forget that one. Uh, so that leaves us with... Nine. 539 ah. apple oranges. <laughs> Wrong. It's 539. That was an easy one, Clax. Is that the best you can do? Uh, two out of three. I'll give you an even easier one this time. 603 divided by three. 201. Ooh, you underestimate my powers, little girl. 5,867.2.3. Aha! Way off, buddy. It's 201. Sorry, you lose. Give me that thing! Ooh, this is intriguing. This really is. What does this do? Oh my. He's really into that calculator, huh? Hey, what the? Why is my calculator a Pokeball? Well, we go in now. Later, nerds. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. And I always thought math was such a waste of time. So that's that, one big window. That sure is a thing that just happened. It's a crystal ball with tiny specks of light flitting back and forth inside. This must be where Clax has trapped the souls of all those unfortunate people. Yeah, you know, it, it would have been even better if there would have been a close-up shot that literally showed him dividing by zero. I would have accepted that as justification for why that happened. It's not very good These justification, curtains haven't been washed but, you know. in years. Typical. Evil alchemists spend too much time mixing potions and coming up with megalomaniacal schemes and not enough time doing basic household chores. There's something behind the curtain. Clever fellow, that roper clax. Who'd think to look there? Um. Some people, some people in the 90s would be happy to play Clax on their calculator. I played my calculator on Clax. You know that dumb joke that he pulled on me? I pulled it right back. Literally just came up with that one. It is, after all, the 90s. No? Okay. Huh. I can hear the rustling of tiny legs. <laughs> it smells like pearls of morning dew. It has the texture of thin strands of hair. I don't know what these cycle commands do. I can hear the rustling of tiny legs. I can hear... Like, does this do anything? I can... Also, why are there two exits? It's a bottle containing a red liquid. 
I can't reach that high. Then just use your extendomatic arms. Wait, you're not Bender. It's a bottle containing white liquid. This page has been torn out, leaving only part of it readable. If you bother to tear it out, it must be important. Hmm. It's a big old skull with a weird blue light inside. Always two eggs, it's otherwise fire. <laughs> I don't think we need to worry about, about the quantity of points of egress in an adventure game. It's a bottle containing a blue liquid. You never know, cause magic. So we've got three vials. There's another vial up here, but how do we get to it? It's everyone's time for everyone's favorite game. How do I get up there? Oh boy, this is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Empty vials. It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. It's a bottle containing a yellow liquid. In contrast of, uh, of other adventure games, in this one, you can get Yee Flask. In fact, you can get a lot of them. Empty vials. a spell. Clouds and spider's webs, plus, um, magic finger? If alchemy is anything like chemistry, that last one is probably some kind of catalyst or something. Clouds and spider web plus catalyst makes invisible? Only part of this page is readable. Clouds and spider web plus catalyst makes invisible. Okay, so how many vowels do we have? It feels moist and light, fluffy almost. <laughs> It smells like ozone. It sounds like distant thunder. Oh, this lets you cycle between the potions. I gotcha. Okay. It sounds like the rapid flapping of fragile wings. <laughs> it smells like fresh flowers. It feels soft like satin and very fragile. I can hear. I can hear a distant tingling sound like crystal bells. <laughs> it smells hard to define. Sharp, decisive, 
earthy. It feels cool to the touch, like ice. Okay, so I think we've seen all of them, and I have an idea of what to do. Uh, no, wait. Uh, so, was this the cloud? Yep. And this was the spider. It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. I can hear a distant t It feels cool to the touch, like ice. <laughs> it smells hard to define. Sharp. Oh, this is the thunder again. It sounds like distant thunder. It sounds like the rapid flapping of fragile wings. It sounds like flowers. It feels soft like satin and very fragile. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. And so like so. Fortunately, they're small enough to carry in my pocket. Okay. Let us enjoy the fruits of our labors. I'll save it for when I really need it. Okay. Well, looks like we can't. But it does say invisibility potion. So I think I did the right thing here. It's a crystal ball with souls trapped inside it. Clearly the answer is to do the monkey. Maybe they want to get paid. Presumably there are some other potions that we can make, but like, these are all torn up. window opening action. I don't know how high up we are, but there are clouds below us and I can't see the ground. Well, that's problematic. Hmm. So, the two things that I can see needing right now are the rest of this page and also this red vial. It's a so bottle right, containing a yeah. red liquid. So any insight on where this page would be or how to get this vial? I don't doubt the whole like float potion thing. That's probably that that would be my best guess as to how to get that, but like how do we make one?
how far downstairs. So keep going down. Oh, looks like we have an easy access to the tower now. Oh, was that there before? Oh, geez. Hey, Whoa. buddy. Talk about a hissy fit. Evil Mirror Universe April has sure got some anger stored up. Guess she doesn't want me to get that parchment. I don't have the salt anymore, so I don't have the main ingredient for dispelling ghosts. I get it. You want to get paid too, right? No? Threaten her with a pushpin? Because I, I wouldn't doubt that the pushpin is used somewhere because, like, we would have been required to get the pushpin to get the ring. So the game can assume that we have the pushpin. Oh, but what if, what if I'm invisible. That's so cool. There we go. If your reflection is threatening you, just Solid get rid game. of your reflection. Good timing. I've got to hold on to this stuff. If nothing else, it's perfect for sneaking into clubs back home. <laughs> yes, like an umpire. <laughs> okay, so this parchment is probably the missing page. Yep. Butterfly wings with clouds makes leaf? Makes you light as a leaf, probably. Clouds with brimstone makes storm. Storm? I can bring the wind back with this potion. Brimstone with brimstone makes Big Bang. Ooh, like a firecracker. I always wanted a firecracker. Spider's webs and butterfly wings makes... What is that? A chain around a chaotic symbol? Chaotic like... like magic? Chain magic? Bind magic! Okay, so we can make these two. And then by making this one, I should be able to get the red vial and make these two. I don't know if I'm going to need all five of these, but we may as well just try. Also, I should probably... Hmm, something to write on. Oh, let's just use one of these, I guess. Oh, this... Paper's dusty, actually. I guess I mustn't have touched it for a while. So, uh, need butterfly plus cloud equals float. Uh, cloud plus brimstone. Uh, equals wind. Brimstone plus brimstone equals bomb. And spiderweb plus uh, butterfly equals bind. Hey Jewel, how you doing? Let's have a review of all of what all of these are. So green is spiderweb. 
I can hear the rustling. Uh, blue. Is the catalyst. I can hear a distant. White is. It sounds like distant thunder. Storm. And yellow is. It sounds like the rapid flapping of fragile wings. Let's go back to the cauldron. So we want um, green is spider web. Plus yellow is butterfly. Plus blue is catalyst. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. At first I thought there was a horse which grows an exploding finger from its butt. Okay, um, so we'll cross that off. So now we need yellow as butterfly. Plus the white is cloud. Plus blue is catalyst. Just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. Okay, so that should give us our float potion, which should allow us to get this red vial. Find that is a leaf. I'll just take a tiny little sip. <laughs> Bitter. I do feel a little less weighty. If I put my mind to it, I could probably jump quite high. Whee! Whoa! I should save some of this stuff for the Olympic Games next year. It's a safe bet. I dominate the high jump and pole vault contests. Yeah, and then you would undergo drug testing and they would find that you're under the influence of magic. So we already know what this is, but let's uh, let's give it the sensory test. It sounds like something's burning. Smells like sulfur. Ow, it burns! I mean, that was to be expected. Okay, so we need... Uh, white is cloud. Red is brimstone or sulfur, and blue is catalyst. I'll 
I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. And finally, red and red. Catalyst, Spekan Hephod Abraxas, Instatum Illuminaris Abraxas. I'll just pour the Abraxas. finished potion into one of these vials. Okay. It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. So there are no more vials left. So we've made all of the potions that we have access to. You didn't miss three quarters of the stream? Uh-huh. Hey Fusa, how you doing? Okay, so we have all of the potions, all of the um all of the ingredients are all gone. Uh, let's use the Big Bang Potion on the crystal. Nothing. It just fizzled. The crystal seems to be in constant fluctuation. Maybe that's preventing the explosive potion from being effective. Hmm. Ah. It's a crystal ball with souls trapped inside it. So now I can use the Big Bang. Oh dear. Congratulations, you are all alive again. Well, you're not in a great position, though. Okay, so we still have the bind potion, but we no longer have the explosive potion. Yeah, we, we have made time for Klax. Actually, with this open window, what if I were to use a wind potion on outside? What if the wind just blows it back inside? No, I'll have to find a better way to distribute it. I mean, I guess. Painting of a staircase. Not fair. Now I understand how Wily e. Coyote felt. That damn bird. I mean, I wasn't going to run into the wall, but uh sure, I guess. Yeah, we can't get to that outer to that hourglass. Um I don't even know if this is the correct direction, honestly. 
We can't reach that door anymore because there used to be an hourglass here and now there's just straight up a door to the tower. Wink sink, huh? Mm. Do I have something for you? I'm try I'm trying to think to see if there's something that this I could just uh, a painting of a staircase. So see so see in the escalier. Um But yeah, like a lot of the problem is I've been spending way too much time trying to figure out these puzzles. And a lot of the exposition today happened in books that I had to read out loud, which reading out loud while kind of being performative, so like having to not only read these, but read these to you, uh, I have a hard time uh, retaining information that way. And given that there's only like 22 minutes at most left in the stream, I don't know that I'm going to have anything for a wink sink. There isn't anything that I'm holding on to right now that I'm kind of trying to keep to myself. If I don't come up with anything, I'll refund your points. Okay, um, I'm not really sure what the next step is, so if, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have you spend your points and then you don't get anything. So if I don't come up with something, I'll give the points back. Uh, so Foos or Zero, what do I do next? Ah, yes. What's going on? Nice digs you found here, though I'd cut down on the mad alchemist decor just a little. It's just not you. I don't plan on sticking around, Crow. Heck, why not? You'll be mobile. Home security is not an issue, and you can strike fear into the hearts of men. When you put it like that, no. Hey, up to you. So, why'd you call me? I mean, it, it's much like an MST3K. Crow is the best character. What's going on out there? What's going on is that we're currently cruising at an altitude of, uh, oh, very high. And where are we heading? We're very slowly going nowhere except up. There's no wind, remember? It'll start getting chilly and hard to breathe in a few hours, however. That won't be very pleasant. I could use some help. I'll try my best. Just let me know what you want me to do. Well, turns out we have a way to bring back the wind. How about you go disperse this? Hold on to this vial, okay? Oh, sure. Holding on to stuff is a specialty of mine. What for? I'll let you know. Now chuck you out the window. I want you to fly out there, Crow, as high as you can and empty the potion into the clouds. But what if there's lightning? I don't like lightning. Lightning has caused better birds than me to crash and burn. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'm the ever faithful crow. Uh-oh, I guess it's working. 
that's done with. There's still quite a bit left in the bottle in case you need it later on. And that guy is just not having a good time right now. Also, look at that cake. I don't know about you, but I feel like I just saw a very featureful midsection. Let's go back to Mercuria. <laughs> don't ask what happened to the castle. It's not important. Uh, let's go to the pier. Who's this guy? Captain Nebeve? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Where have you been? Where have I... Don't you remember? I went north to find Roper Clax and get him to release the wind. Oh, I... You know, the wind did pick up mysteriously last night, but... Uh... But what? I don't trust it to not die down in a few hours, or at the most, a day or two. But I destroyed the alchemist. I even set his prisoners free from the rock they were trapped in, destroyed the soul stone, sailed back here in his floating castle, and... And you don't believe a word of it, do you? Not a word. Great. I did defeat Roper Clax. Uh-huh. Do you have his severed head somewhere on you? I beat him. I didn't say I killed him. Of course you didn't. Listen. I, I, he, he's trapped in my calculator Pokeball for all eternity. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Can we set sail for Elias now? Well, the wind has picked up a bit, but I don't trust the good weather to last. I don't want to be sitting dead in the water come tomorrow afternoon, so I'll wait a few days more. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> cool. All right. Listen, a few days more and we're, we're probably not going to have to worry about the world being intact anymore. Oh, uh, look, the, the old man. The, the old man gone. keeps his bird locked in there. Poor guy. The bird, that is. And we don't have to worry about the, the bird being trapped in there anymore. Unless we do something about it. I guess he's not around. Okay. We can go to the inn and see if uh, Tunaktunaktun is back. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, it is you. Do you know when Tunlayak is expected back? I could not tell you, child. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Farewell to my wizard and days by Ripper Clax. It explodes when you get to the last page. See, th this reminds me of um, the ALF game for the Sega Master System. There's an item called the ALF book. 
And if you read the ALF book, and you get to the end of the ALF book, it literally resets the game. And this is intended behavior. Like, that's not some bug that got into the final game. That's just the game being an asshole. That's what you get for reading. Didn't I make you read the ALF book? I'm pretty sure you played ALF, right? For 30 minute games? Was that you or was that Lola? Or maybe that was both of you, I don't know. Okay, maybe it was Lola then. Okay, we, we got time for a little more. But I'd rather not have to run across creation to figure out where that little more is. So what's what is the next step? Back to the captain, but the captain was being a jerk off. Captain Nebeve? Huh? Oh, it's just Thanks for <laughs> Captain Nebebe, thanks for nothing. So it is just literally Captain Nebeve? Huh? I got something you want. What? Well, out with it, girl. What is it? Oh, nothing. You do remember our deal, don't you? I. Um, uh, remind me what the deal was again. Use the wind room. That if I defeated Roper Clax and brought the wind back, you'd give me a lift to the Isle of Elias. <laughs> sure. <laughs> The day I see a girl like you bring down a powerful alchemist like Clax is the day I hire a woman to be my navigator. I well, mean, look at this. Yes. By the balance, girl, that's a strong grog you got there. What is it? Tyron spice wine? It's the wind. Watch this. Sweet child, that's a strong wind. You got some mighty powerful magic there, girl. And there's more where that came from. Care to share some of it with us? With that magic, we could make good time to Guillen. Pick up a cargo full of apples and be back here before the competition got, uh, wind of what was happening. <laughs> sure. If you give me a ride to Elias, as promised... Balance be cursed. Women aboard? When will it ever end? Jowls, bowels. Be here by this afternoon, or we'll sail without you. As if you'll get far without my wind magic. And you did say something about hiring a female navigator? Damnation! Do you insist on remembering every little thing I say, girl? Don't you know that Jowl has forbidden women from riding the waves? Sounds like a bunch of sexist bullshit to me, but it's your choice. I got the wind in my pocket. Now you learn to treat women with a little respect. I've run out of curses, girl. Jaw be damned, I am in desperate need of a navigator anyhow. All right, all right. You be here by this afternoon with your navigator. It's not as if I ever put much faith in the teachings of the drunken prophet Jaw myself. Ah, the drunken prophet, much like Zoom. Um, I'm guessing now we have to go find. Uh, I keep forgetting her name. It's a map of the Northlands. I mean, we we have crow. I I invited that one uh, that one Banda guy to be our Tom Servo, but apparently didn't want to. Had to go sing at the ground. Are you who I'm looking it's for? It's a blue woman, and you know, no big deal. I've seen it all. A blue woman is just run of the mill now. 
Pardon me, ma'am. I am sorry, young woman, but I do not wish to speak with anyone presently. Assorted bottles and spices and herbs. I mean, I have a delivery for you. Pardon me for intruding, ma'am, but is your name Tunlayak? Yes, I am Tunlayak. I have a delivery for you. Oh, a map of the Northlands. I had almost forgotten I ordered it. Sorry about that. I came by a few days ago, but you weren't here. No, no, I was looking for work. <sighs> Thank you kindly, young woman. I will need this map now, if I am to make it to Khorasan by foot. Why are you going to Khorasan by foot? I can ill afford the cost of passage on a ship bound for the Bay of Fire, and since I do not have a job, nor the prospect of getting one, I have little choice. Are you from Khorasan? No, I am from the Southlands. I have never been to Khorasan. Then why are you going there? Because I am told that in Khorasan, captains allow women to join their crew. Here, in Mercuria, they do not. So I've been told, but you shouldn't have to go somewhere else to get a job. That just isn't fair. Fair or not, it is custom. And custom is a difficult thing to change. Yeah, well, we're gonna start now. Why are you so depressed? Is it that apparent to you? I do beg your pardon. It was not my intent to burden you with my dark mood. It's okay, I don't mind. I'd like to help if I can. I do not think you can. Unless you were the captain of a ship, and you could hire me as your navigator. But you are not, and so you cannot help me. I mean, how do you know? You are a navigator? Yes, and I have a letter to prove it. Do you want me to show it to you? No, I believe you. And you're looking for a job? I have been looking, now, for many moons. But most captains do not want women on their crew. And so I am leaving for Coruscant in the morning. I got a job for you, if you want it. A job? As a navigator? Yeah, on a boat called the White Dragon. We're leaving this afternoon, if you're interested. If you are serious, then yes, I am more than interested. But will the captain allow a woman as his navigator? This one will, trust me. Because if he doesn't, he's not going anywhere. Just pack your stuff and head down to the docks. Talk to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. Tell him I sent you. The name's April Ryan. Thank you, April. I am Tun Layak. Yes, we I am established. most grateful to you. Will you be going with us? Yeah, so I'll see you there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at that friggin' sauntering off out the door. Okay. So with that, we have we have dealt with all of the problems that were plaguing uh, Captain, uh, you know, Easy Vac over here. So we've brought back the wind. We got him a navigator. We're one step away. There we go. We've taken one step. Captain isn't here, gotta trigger him to be ready ready. I mean I guess you're you're not It's the White Dragon, wrong. apparently the fastest vessel there ever was. Although I'm guessing that'll be kinda difficult to prove. Okay. 
Where where is he gone off to this time? Tobias. Uh, which one was Tobias? Oh, Vestrum. Vestrum Tobias, yes, okay. I mean, that's pretty much what I was intending, Zero. Okay, but where is the Vestra? <laughs> Why is nobody anywhere? You have returned from there your trip north. It is good to see you again. I was concerned. You're worried about little old me? That's sweet. And guess what? I kicked some alchemist ass while I was up there. Bet you didn't think I'd be able to do that. Then you have lost your wager. I knew you would. After all, you are... I was worried because of the trouble in the West. I've lost my wager? What? What trouble? The Tyran. They left the city all as one the evening before yesterday, and many of the vanguard with them. I fear there are dark times ahead. You don't mean war, do you? War, yes. It has been an age and a half since our last war with the Tyran. But relations have always been strained, and now... Whipped into religious fervor by the vanguard, the Tyran are thirsty for blood and for revenge. They are a people bound by violence and without honor, and easily seduced by the prospect of a holy war. The sexy holy war. God, that's horrible. But the city's safe, isn't it? It's a big city. Yes, but unfortunately not well armed. Mercuria has not seen war for centuries. And people grow soft, forget how to fight. It can easily be taken by a strong army. And so I fear our safety. And yours. What did you mean when you said, after all, you are... Forgive an old man his misgivings, April, but I should have trusted you before. Of course you should have. With what? <laughs> With the truth. That you are the one who will watch over us for a thousand years. That you are of the balance, and the balance is in you. That you are the one born into the heaviest duty of them all. You are the guardian to be, April. The thirteenth guardian of the balance. No! No, that's a lie. I'm not your guardian. That's not possible. It is certain. I had my doubts, unfortunately. It could have cost us the balance, and I made a mistake. But it is certain now. You are stronger in the balance than anyone before you. God damn, Cortez! He didn't say anything about... If I'd known, I wouldn't have come here. I would have... I don't know what I would have done, but I wouldn't have come here. Maybe he did not know. Or maybe he did. And he knew it would be wiser not to tell you. But I am telling you now because you cannot stay here. You are too valuable. You must leave. I am leaving for Laius this afternoon. Good. The Tyran are not a seafaring people. And the islands are probably the safest place to be right now. Before you go, I want to give you something to carry with you. I spent the night looking for it in the Enclave. It has been gathering dust for over 10,000 years. Oh, Tobias, I can't accept anything that old. You are not accepting it. It is yours. The Fathers have only kept it safe for the day when the 13th Guardian would come to collect it. And now you are here. 
Please, take it. It is the talisman of the balance. Known to but a few, it is mentioned in one text only, the scriptures of reunification, one of the thirteen scriptures of the balance. What does it do? The scripture speaks not of its purpose, but it is yours, whatever it is. I am certain it will help you once you find its purpose. It has strong magic, very strong. Thanks, Tobias. I really do appreciate it, e even though I wish I didn't have to accept it. You are the guardian, child. Your fate is both glorious and terrible. But it is your fate. If you deny it, you deny our future. But I have faith in you, April. That's what I'm afraid of. What if I screw up? The balance provides. The balance protects. Trust the balance, and trust yourself. Goodbye, and good luck on your journey. Later, nerd. I just love having her just randomly do a spinny. Any dang way, we, we got a thing. What does it do? Oh. That, that's that's a, a good some good hustles like yeah there there's this thing that you need to receive hell if anyone knows what it does but it does something finally we are ready and we must away before it's too late we still have another six or seven hours of daylight today come come aboard uh, did I tell you how much I hate water no well, remind me to tell you sometime. I was gonna say before this happened, but I guess this is happening now. I didn't think that taking a step into that screen was going to trigger this happening. I thought I was gonna have to actually talk to the guy. I mean, the, the whole point was I wanted this cutscene to be in the next stream. Oh, God, my guts have been cleaned out and I still feel sick. <sighs> Good talk. Anyway, we're, we're on the road, and by on the road, I mean on the sea, to Alais, the home of Alanis Morissette. And um, this guy's just kind of hanging there, just being a dude. I got him. So, yeah. We, we've got some traveling to do, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to um, get the remaining pieces of the disc and use the Talisman of Balance in some way to probably reassemble it? Question mark? I don't know. We'll figure out what, uh, what we need to do with that. And we shall be figuring that out in the next stream. So thank you all for watching. Um, thank you to, wait, when was Alexander here? Oh yeah, he, he said hey nerds at the very beginning and then just kept quiet for the rest, so thank you for lurking, I guess. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Zero, J-Pop, uh, Jewel, Foos, Sengai, all of y'alls. Um, I would estimate that this game is probably going to take another one to two streams based on what I saw from 
um, how long to beat. I will hydrate after the stream, Jewel. And uh, I will also refund your wing sleep, please. Uh, I didn't really come up with anything. Uh, so yeah, one to two streams. Maybe the next one will be a long one, but I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that zero. Uh, I'm just kind of basing myself on what I said on how long to beat. Um, seeing as my stream are about four hours long, well, three and a half if you consider the, the, uh, the breaks. So probably two more streams, I would imagine. But we'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. I will warn that uh, Hurricane Lee is heading in our direction and should be hitting sometime between Saturday and Sunday. So there is a chance that I'm just not going to have power and I'm not going to be able to participate in the Super Shuffle. Uh, in which case, maybe Mazzy will be around. Who knows? Um, but the forecasts say that it's going to be post-tropical by the time it hits us, so hopefully it won't be too bad. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, the uh, next stream after that would just be around the week around the wheel. would be our next long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is going to be the next long run stream, like I just said, because of course, more long this journey. We're getting close to the end of it, but we'll see how much longer this journey is going to be. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.